What's going on? I just got to Lincoln. I'm about to fly out to Denver. Got a 10-hour trip ahead of me. Go from Denver to Phoenix and then to L.A. where MLG is. So it's going to be a long day. It's about 11 a.m. right now. As you can see, Lincoln Airport's not too hot in here in Nebraska. So, yeah, see you in Denver. Here we are in Denver. Don't know if you can see the flight to Phoenix. And as you can see, this airport's a lot bigger. <laughs> All right, see you in Phoenix. All right, now in Phoenix, as you can see outside with the desert and everything. So, a little tired, got a nice little nap in on the flight here. Now I got an hour and a half to wait. Destination LA. Alrighty, well, it's been a really long day. It's about 9.30 p.m. Western Time. Driving on the Los Angeles Freeway. So, we've had about 11 hours of travel time. I'm pretty tired, but I'm looking forward to getting to the hotel, getting checked in, and going to MLG tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get more footage of the hotel and the MLG. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Here at MLG at my hotel room here with NMX TTF. Hi. Didn't get a lot of footage last night because we were kind of tired from traveling 12 hours and just kind of relaxed and went to bed. But I wanted to do a quick interview. We're about to head to MLG here in about 30 minutes to warm up for a couple hours before the first games. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, you know your name, where you're from, your a little bit of your history, stuff like that. Uh, my name is Tati Fat TTF for short. I play for Team Nightmares NMX. I'm from Guelph, Ontario, which is in Canada. If you, if you guys don't know where that is, and uh, I've been playing StarCraft two since beta. I didn't play Brewdor. I didn't play any RTS before StarCraft two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So how long did, how, what's your highest you've been in Grandmaster, and how long did it take you to kind of reach that level? Uh, a couple seasons ago, when I played that very seriously, I got to, I was consistently top 10 for most of the season, and I dropped a bit near the end, but, uh, and how long it took me? A uh, few months of practicing really hard, and just analyzing my play, fixing my, fixing my mistakes. Okay, so when you try to get better, do you watch replays? Do you play custom games? Do you just mask games on ladder? What's kind of the best philosophy for you to improve your gameplay? Uh, usually mask games and be aware, be always aware of the mistakes I make, then improve on those mistakes and don't make them again. Because uh, my model's always been if you, it's better to lose on ladder than in a tournament, so I don't mind losing on ladder as long as I know why I lost and I can correct it. So I've always been about making mistakes and fixing them. Okay. And you've gone to previous events. Uh, what are the kind of biggest events you've gone to before, and how did how did those events treat you? Uh, I've been to the last three MLGs, Providence, or, or actually, yeah, last three, Columbus, Providence, Orlando. Uh, back in Orlando, I wasn't very good. I won a few rounds, but like I lost like the first half decent player I played. Providence, same thing, I still wasn't very good. Uh, Columbus, I had a better show where I knocked out a few sponsored players and took a game off of Nori. So, and I made it to like, losers round seven, which got me, qual automatically qualified me for the invitational MLG thing, the thing before the arena. Okay. So my pro and also my performance at Providence automatically reserved me a player pass for this event. So I didn't have a problem getting a player pass. Okay, awesome. And you know, the open bracket seems like it's getting a little bit stronger each MLG. Do you, uh, what's your expectations? Like, what would be a successful MLG and what would be a disappointing MLG for you? Uh, this MLG, last MLG, my goal was to uh, beat some well known players, get pretty far in the open bracket. This MLG, my goal is to make pool play. And if I don't make pool play, I won't be happy. Okay. Cool. And you play Protoss. Why did you decide Protoss was the race? Has that been the race you played the whole time? Did you ever think of switching? Um, you know, just kind of give me a little overview on your preference of why you picked Protoss. Uh, I just watched a few YouTube videos, and Protoss looked most interesting and most like my play stuff, so I just picked it up and never looked back. Okay, so you played ever since the start? Yeah. Protoss, okay. Cool. Did you, uh, what's your uh, mindset as far as strategic? 
Are you, uh, did you, when you were preparing for MLG, did you just, like, get one build for each matchup on each map, or do you, like, plan on scouting and then adapting, or do you have kind of a set-in-stone way you want to play every single matchup? I have a set macro build that's very reactionary based on what I scout for every matchup, which is the build I use most of the time. Then I have a few set cheeses, like, gimmicky stuff that will take games off good players. Uh, for every matchup, also. So, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. And um, what do you think? It do you? Th- I guess what I'm trying to say is, do you think anybody can get to the level of grandmaster competing at MLG? Do you think it's just a matter of how hard you want to work, or do you think you have to like be born with something like a fast mind or good dexterity with your hands, or do you think it's something anybody can do as long as they're willing to put in the work? I feel like you have to be naturally talented to reach top half of GM. If you work really hard and you put a lot of time into it, I think you get GM, but you'll never, I don't think, if you're not naturally talent, talented, I don't think you'd ever reach the top tier. Okay. Do you think foreigners have a chance of catching up with Koreans? Because now I see, you know, there's going to be a lot of big time, uh, you know, Koreans here at MLG, and it looks like a lot of them are going to be switching over you know, the big-time names from StarCraft 1, do you think it's going to be hard for foreigners to keep up, or do you think we have a chance of closing the gap eventually? I feel like the gap right now isn't very big, and uh, we already have a head start on a bunch of the Brood War people, so I feel like right now the Brood War players are playing catch-up, and I think the Brood War players will catch up, but I don't know how soon they'll surpass the top um, foreigners right now, because I feel the top foreigners are... Like Nani, Wa, Stefano, they're all close. Like Marine King Prime, Don Rigu, they're all. I feel Marine King Prime, Don Rigu are better, but the other players are pretty close. Okay, cool. All right, well, I just wanted to get a quick interview in, so that's gonna do it. We're gonna head out to MLG here in a little bit, and I'll try to get more footage done. All right, thanks.
back from a long day, about eight hours we spent at MLG. Um, go ahead and give us an update on how you felt going into your first game and how your first set turned out. Uh, first game I played some Midmaster Terran, so it was an easy game. I had two Odin. Then uh, my second in the series I played a low GM Protoss, and he barely beat me with a can rush. Then I can rush him. Then I four gate on him. It was over, I won. Then third game I played FXO Lucky, which was basically my first challenge. Then game one was weird. I kind of screwed up a bit. Game two I missed a few four fields and lost the game, but I didn't really feel like I could have won game two. Okay. And uh, overall, were you satisfied with your play, or do you think it kind of went how you thought it should, or do you think you could have beaten Lucky if you played better, or...? Uh, I feel of game one I could have played better. Game two, uh, I, I misread him and it put me behind. Like, I did a two base all in because I thought he was all in me off three base. Because when I scouted him, he had, he was building Zerglings for no reason and he had no drones at his third. So I just assumed he was all in me. So I dropped like four cannons. Then when he didn't all in me, I tried to do a sentry immortal kill and I almost got him with it. But I feel if I didn't waste the money on the cannons, I could have just flat out killed him. Yeah, so now uh, TTF has to go back for loser's bracket, and I believe you start in round four. Loser bracket at about 2 or 3 p.m. Uh, how do you like your chances uh, as far as getting deep on loser bracket? Do you think you can go pretty far? or I'm going to aim for at least round eight or nine. Okay. That's my goal. So that would mean winning like four sets? It's like five. Five sets? Like okay. Cool. Well, that does it for our quick interview. We're going to uh, start the party. Thanks. Peace. Introducing our first player. From South Korea, the legacy of the Protoss, Slayers Alicia!
right, so it's Monday, the day after LG got over, so the trip home. Today started at about 8 a.m. to get NMX TTF to his uh, flight, and then we flew out a couple hours later. As you can see, it is late, uh, late at night, and I, we are stuck in Denver because our flight got delayed, and then uh, when we came to the proper time, they told us that the plane actually came early. So the flight wasn't delayed, even though it said on every screen at the airport our flight was delayed. So now we are stuck at the airport overnight, waiting ten and a half hours for our next flight. So that's going to be fun. So we will just be crashing and uh, killing time for ten and a half hours throughout the night at the airport. So still worth it though. MLG was awesome, and I wouldn't have changed it for the world. So what can you do? Just gotta. Deal with it and move on with your life. Alright, thanks, peace. <sighs> Alrighty, how's it going? I uh, am finally home from MLG here in my apartment uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska. We uh, definitely had an interesting trip back home. Uh, we uh, started it. I'd say from 8 a.m. tomorrow or yesterday morning until now it's uh, 1:18 p.m. local time here in Lincoln Central. So you you know you're talking 28 hours it took me to get home. Could have could have damn near driven I guess. Um, uh, sleeping on the hotel floor was not too exciting last night. I I've, I've probably slept about four hours in the past. Uh, 30 hours, so dead tired, but yeah, um, just to talk a little bit about MLG instead of my horrible uh, mishappenings on the way home, <laughs> um, it was awesome, if you've never been to an MLG or a big time event, you should definitely go, it's a great time, everybody I met was extremely cool, all the gamers, all the MLG staff, all the casters, all the team managers, Everybody was just passionate about StarCraft and passionate about competitive gaming in general and just really cool people to meet and chat with. So if you've never been, definitely go. I'm going to try to make it to every one that I can, you know, with school and work. Sometimes it can be tough to work it out, but I'm definitely going to be trying to make it to every one that I can. I had a blast. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed getting kind of a little bit of a behind the scenes look at MLG and, and what it's like for somebody going there their first time and, and what what it's like to be there and I'll just end this this uh, little MLG documentary video with showing you some of the pictures I was able to take at MLG alright thanks for watching Play Starcraft, Bronze League players better watch yourself. I tear up the league, next stop first place MLG. This is how I roll, cheese all day, top three control. I'm at Slings, well now you know, you got no wall, well here we go. Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. Uh, uh, I'll play sure. Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. Uh, uh, I'll play sure. When I beat you again. This is what I'll see on my screen. Please stop cheesing me. I only know one bill, and I ain't afraid to show it, show it, show it. I'm nerdy, and I know it. Games that were built to lair. Oh! Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. I'll uh, play sure. Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. Girl, look at that six pool. I'll play sure. When I beat you again, this is what I'll see on my screen. Please stop.
Stop chasing me. 